Here, in this question, we're given an FM signal and we're asked for four things. The frequency deviation, the carrier swing, the bandwidth, that'll be an estimation, and the power. So let's write those four things down. We're asked for delta F, we're asked for the swing, we're asked for the bandwidth and the power. So four things. So you could recall the general form of an FM signal. It looks something like this. A cosine the carrier component plus the modulation index and assuming we have a, a single tone message in the form of cosine omega mt then you have beta sine omega m t. And by simply comparing these two expressions, you see that we can extract beta. We can say beta equals 9. And we can also find the um, message frequency. So fm is simply 1 kilohertz. So it's that divided by 2 pi. Now, in order to find delta F, the frequency deviation, we simply remember that beta is the ratio of delta F to FM. So delta F is simply beta times FM. So it's 9 kilohertz. So that's one way of finding delta F. Um, another way, let me just... Um, put that in a different color. So another way could have been to find the instantaneous frequency by taking that angle and finding the derivative. So the instantaneous frequency would be 8 pi times 10 to the power 6 over 2 pi. So I'm taking the derivative and I'm dividing by 2 pi. So I'm taking the derivative, and then I'm dividing by 2 pi. And here we have cosine. And I'll just say omega mt. So delta f is the maximum of the absolute value of the instantaneous frequency minus the carrier frequency. So that will give me essentially just this, because we're talking about the maximum value, so that's when this is equal to 1. So we'll just get the same 9 kilohertz that we found using the modulation index. So that's another way of doing it. So Moving on, the next thing we we're asked to find, so we found delta F, the next thing was the frequency swing. Now the frequency swing, or the carrier swing, is simply twice the frequency deviation. So you have your carrier frequency, and then you have a deviation on either side. You have delta F on either side. So that total is your swing. It's twice delta F, so it's simply 18 kilohertz.